All right, so you grabbed yourself an iPad Air 2020 and you're interested in seeing what the setup is like. For those of you who might be new to Apple iPads, this video is for you. So here's the iPad Air 2020. I've already thrown it in a folio case. This case is from Z to top. Uh, I like this brand. I use it on my bigger iPad and you really don't miss out much you really don't miss out much on quality if you compare it to the expensive folio cases that you can grab directly from Apple. Now, I know I've got tons of fingerprints all over my device, but that is neither here nor there. Once I turn this on, you probably won't see those anyways. So let's get this powered on. This is my first time actually booting this up. So good, we know everything works correctly. And let's take a look at the basic setup of the iPad Air 2020. So it comes in, Already has a battery life, I know it's hard to see, of 90% there. Which is nice for a brand new device. So quickly just swipe up. It's gonna ask you to choose your language. So English, I'm in Canada, it already knows where I am, that's pretty cool. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show up options for setting up this iPad, make sure it's running iOS 11 or later and has Bluetooth turned on. You can also set up this iPad manually. So I'll grab my other iPad here and hopefully I just, I don't know, open it up or something. So iPad Pro is open. It's near, Let's see if it picks it up. Quick face ID. All right, so for some reason it doesn't want to work, so we'll just go set up manually. Uh, you guys don't get to know my <laughs> Wi-Fi password. Give me one sec. As you can see here, so Touch ID, use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or Apple ID password for purchases. So I recommend doing more than just one finger just to make it easier no matter what hands you pick it up with or what orientation you pick it up in. But for the sake of this video, I'll just do my one finger here. So capture all of your fingerprint, keep going and capture the edges of your print. So I'll just change up my finger, use different angles here. It's not as fast as the face ID setup, but that's okay. So add another fingerprint. I'll do that part later, as we said, and create a passcode. So when you get to this stage, if you already have an iPad or an iPhone that you wanna transfer information from to your new iPad, you can just quickly click on this button here, transfer directly from iPad. So if I click that and bring this one close. So for some reason, still doesn't want to pick up. I'll see if I can just use a backup then. Give me one sec. Once you've signed in, if you already have your iPad, your previous iPad backed up to the cloud, then you can do it that way as well. Still not sure what's going on with the automatic transfer, but this is just as easy to do. So all I did was I signed in with my Apple ID and then it's going to pull down my backup from my previous iPad or the iPad that's sitting on the table just behind it. And it'll ask me to choose a backup. So I'll just do the latest one. Set up Apple Pay later. I don't know who's gonna Apple Pay with an iPad. I don't use Keychain. I'll set up Siri later. And so just like that, it'll give you the amount of time that's gonna take to install from the cloud. So again, just remembering it's already on your Wi-Fi, so it's also gonna be dependent on your internet service provider, what speed you have with them. Um, mine is generally pretty fast. So it says it's gonna take about two minutes. I'll let that run. All right, so once it's finished downloading your backup from the cloud, it'll go to this black screen here and it's essentially just taking what it downloaded from the cloud and installing it on your new iPad. So don't worry or think that you've broken it or anything like that. It's just gonna take a second for all of those apps to get pulled down and set up with the same specifications that you had on your original iPad. All right, so the bar just finished there for me. If I power this on, as you can see, now it has the exact same background and everything that you saw on my iPad Pro. If I use Touch ID to just log in, boom, very quick. 
and the apps here are still installing at the bottom. So you're able to actually still use the iPad while the installations are going on in the background. You don't actually have to wait for everything to be done to start using it, but that's just how easy it is there to set up. Now, if you are someone who ordered an Apple Pencil with your iPad, um, it's very easy to set this up as well. All you have to do is take the pencil out of the packaging and just attach it to the side of your iPad. You'll see that it picks it up here on the side and it'll tell you what's new about the Apple Pencil. You quickly just hit continue. Um, you can try to do scribble. That's a new feature of the latest iPad OS. But just like that, the pencil is gonna be registered to this iPad here. So again, throw it on the side. It picks up the Apple Pencil should be installed now and I can quickly just use it for whatever it is that I might be doing. So just like that, my pencil is now active. I can jump into one of my note taking apps. Let's just create a quick notebook, create. And as you can see, and I know my writing doesn't look too good, but just like that, the Apple Pencil set up. And if you have two iPads in your house, let's say you have one for your kids and you only want to share the one pencil, you don't feel like buying multiple, then that's not a problem. You can quickly just log into your other iPad. Sorry, Face ID. See, this is why Face ID bothers me sometimes and why I would prefer to just have Touch ID available on both. So here is the iPad Pro. I just put the pencil right back on the side. It'll pick up the pencil and good to go. So I can use it on any iPad that I have. You don't have to worry about buying multiple pencils. So that's it. That's how you set up your iPad Air 2020. Now, again, this setup for me was going from the iPad Pro to my iPad Air. But if you have stuff on your iPhone that you wanna transfer, same general idea, or if this is your first iPad, then the setup's still gonna be the exact same, minus having to do any transfers. So thank you guys again for watching. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.